Hi everybody, welcome back to Mediocre Whiskey Review. I'm Jill, your host, and today we're doing a blind. Stick around. All right, everybody. So today I decided I got in a mood and that mood was wheat. I'm in a wheat mood. So we're doing a wheat blind, okay? Um, so what we have, we have the Old Elk Weeded Bourbon. Um, and this is 45% wheat, so it's 51% corn, 45% wheat, and then um, the rest is, I don't remember if it's rye or barley. Sorry, I don't know. The next one, oh, and it was aged at least five years, and it is 92 proof. <clears throat> the next one is the Middle West Straight Weeded Bourbon Whiskey. Could not find, um, an actual mash bill on it but what i got was it is a four grain um, and i am led to believe that the dominant grain is wheat <clears throat> but i don't know that for a fact so sorry and it is 95 proof and then the last one just for fun is the weller cypb and it is the weeded mash bill from buffalo trace <clears throat> Obviously don't know what it is. And this one is um, aged eight years. That's what that's what we're doing today. Um, I do have them poured in my glass. I mixed them up. I poured them, I don't know, 20 minutes ago. I don't know what's what, but they're there. And, and that's what we're going to do today, okay? Um, while I'm getting ready to do some sniffing and some tasting, y'all go like, subscribe, comment, and... Uh, yeah, it really helps the channel out. So go do that. Go go do that. And then come right back. So, welcome back. Um, <laughs> I was in a whole weird mood today, y'all. So just bear with me. Um, we're going to call this glass one. We're just going to see which one I like better. There's no rhyme or reason to this. There's no, um, I'm not trying to figure out anything other than which one I like best. Because I like them all. So, so that's what we're going to do. Glass one is, the nose is not, not phenomenal. It's not like jumping out, nothing. It's not bad. I feel like I can smell the wheat in it. So we're going to let that sit for a second. Go on to glass two. Out of these three, before you get to the end of the video and figure out which one I like best, out of these three, which one, which one would you pick? What would be your favorite? If you've had all three. This one I'm getting lots of vanilla. A little bit of caramel. Cherry Coke. Okay. A glass number three. Big League Chew. The powder powder from the Big League Chew. Otherwise, not much. Not pulling much out of this one either. Am I broken? Is my sniffer broken? I don't know. I gotta cleanse my nose. All right, so we're gonna start sipping. It doesn't look super viscous, but like, yeah, it's, it's got some legs. She's got some legs on her. That time I definitely got like that wheat, <clears throat> that weeded, weeded smell. All right, sip one. Right off the bat is, is wheat. Um, but it's not, it's not off-putting. It's not overpowering. It's followed up by some, some vanilla, a um, little bit of spice, pretty thin. Um, mouth feel it wasn't wasn't super viscous my mouth's a little bit dry um, so that's one let's try two now that first sniff right there was just nothing but caramel so that was that mouth feel was much more viscous than the first one that caramel that was on that I got like a huge whiff of um, came through on the palate not real strong but it was there there was vanilla caramel like a dried fruit like a dehydrated cherry. That's what I'm going with for glass two. <laughs> glass three, here we go. Strong vanilla. Okay. So that one was very strong vanilla at the front. The slightest bit of spice. That was very good. We're gonna cleanse the palate and we're gonna, we're gonna go backwards here. Hold on. Round two, starting with glass three. It's like vanilla icing, which sounds, it sounds weird for me to say that because I'm sure I've never said that before. Um, 
vanilla icing and a little bit of maple. Okay, glass two, glass two. That one's still coming in real strong with the caramel. Um, and the spice is, the spice picked up a little bit. It's, it's caramel and then it's spice and it's not, it's not like a black pepper spice. It's, it's a baking spice and I don't, I can't tell you what baking spice it is because I don't know. Hmm. Okay. All right. Glass one. So glass one, I'm still pulling that wheat, but there's vanilla. There's a hint of a spice in there also, but it's almost like a black pepper spice. Interesting. Clean palette one more time. We'll go, I'm gonna start in the middle because this guy hasn't got a fair shake. He's always, he's right in the middle. He's right in the middle. So, hold on. Starting with glass two. This will be the last round. And then we're gonna pick which one I like best. The first sniff on that, I got strawberry. I don't, I don't have any strawberries here. Vanilla, vanilla, caramel. But that was like vanilla wrapped in caramel with a little bit of spice. Like maybe we dipped it in chili powder. Interesting. All right. Glass one and then glass three. That is a, that's a, that's a peppery spice that I'm getting. But the front end of that is vanilla. Um, is a really light vanilla and a very light caramel. And then that black pepper spice. But it's dry. It's very thin. The mouthfeel on it. It's like you take a sip and it's not even in your mouth anymore. It's just gone. All right, glass three. Last one, here we go. That one is a very, very rich caramel. Just the faintest spice. It's not black pepper and it's not like a strong baking spice. It is very pleasant. It, I guess I'll go, I'll say brown sugar. That guy's hitting all the notes for me. He's hitting every, every single spot for me right now. Um, with, with my current mood and my current, you know, state of being, glass number three is my winner today. Um, now, the problem is which one did I like the least? I don't know if I can answer that. Cause the other two, like they're all very good, but all three of them next to each other this one stands out and they're very close in proof. As far as age, I mean, the CYPB is eight years. The other two, Middle West is at least five. Old Elk is not age stated, so we assume at least four. I'm gonna say that it's going to go in backwards order. We're gonna go three, two, one as my preference. So that means number one, we're gonna see what she is. Now, I'm gonna take a guess because I haven't done that for a while. I haven't been wrong for a while. And sometimes, you know, you just need that, need to be wrong to knock yourself right down off of that perch you think you're on, if I can get the sticker off. I really think that this one is the old elk. Um, only because I feel like I can remember the last time I had that, that wheat note being very strong in it. Now, am I gonna be wrong? <laughs> Probably. And it's okay, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. So. My least favorite today out of these three is, holy shit, I was right. <laughs> it is the old elk. Sometimes it feels good to be right. I just remember having that really strong wheat note to it. Um, and I like it. Had I not compared it to these two, it would have been phenomenal. And it was phenomenal when I opened it. Now I feel like I have to guess the other two. And I don't know, I don't know if I want to. But we will, because we're in it. I'm going to say that this one, I feel I feel like maybe I set this up wrong, but I'm going to say that I think this one is the Middle West um, because of the spice that was in it, which is the order that I put them in here. But <laughs> I want to be wrong, but I don't, because I don't want y'all to think that I like knew anything, because I know nothing, to be honest. But... Um, I can't see it yet. I hope I'm right now. I want to be right. I'm not right. I'm not right. That is the CYPB. That is the CYPB. Can we say that one more time? 
So that means this guy right here is the Middle West. I just picked him over the Weller. I'm not mad about that. I, I guess maybe a little because I technically, and I don't have, I didn't write it down. The MSRP on a CYPB is like 50, I think, ish. And the MSRP on that Middle West, I think is 60. Yep, it just works. My palette is, I, I do not have a refined palette. I'm not, you know, I'm not Mr. ADHD whiskey over here. And I never will be because my palette is never going to be that, that developed that I can pull out 35 different notes out of a whiskey. I also think, and I know a lot of other people do too, and I've said this before, <clears throat> it depends on what you've eaten. It depends on your mood, your everything, and what you're comparing things to. Um, I almost, I almost put in the Makers 101 just for fun, um, and I didn't because I four is a little, it's a little much and it makes for a real long video, but I'm pleased with this. I'm okay with this. Uh, I, and if I did it again, it may turn out differently if, you know, depending on, depending on my mood. I'm not upset about this. I think that was a good, that was a good outcome. And, um, yeah, yeah, I'm satisfied. So that's all I have for y'all today. Um, Go be nice to each other. Do something nice for someone. I reckon I'll see you guys in a week. Cheers.